Which dudes possess the most appeal to the bone physiques in today's bodybuilding game? Today I will seek to answer that by ranking the top 5 most conditioned active bodybuilders. Now, what does it mean to be conditioned? Obviously we have two picture examples here of two guys who were absolutely peeled to the bone. On the left, rest in peace, Andreas Monser, and on the right, a lesser known guy, Hamdullah Aykutulu. I'm struggling to pronounce his name unfortunately, but that guy was absolutely diced to the socks out of the box as Louis Marco used to say and his glutes are freaking crazy shredded. But in my opinion, what does it mean to be conditioned? Well, I have these two t standards. First of all, muscle separation and striations, and secondly, graininess and vascularity. Now, what does it mean to be an active bodybuilder? This might also be subjective, but I also have uh, these two standards. First of all, must have competed at an IFBB Pro Show in 2020 and or 2021. And secondly, must have not announced their retirement. For example, Dexter Jackson, he competed in 2020, but he has already announced his retirement. And one guy who will not be making this list, even though he probably could have, is Sean Clarita. He fulfills these standards but he has competed in just one open show and this is about open bodybuilders so without further ado let's get straight to the list starting off with number five none other than this dude right here max charles now from the front this guy is absolutely freaking peeled no ounce of fat on his freaking physique but as you can see unfortunately from the back for some reason maybe he has thicker skin in the back but he doesn't look as shredded from the back, so that's why he lands in number 5. Even though he does not look as conditioned from the back, from the front, he is absolutely dry, peeled to the bone. Now, coming in at number 4 is this dude right here. This might be controversial, but I think that at the 2020 Mr. Olympia, this dude was absolutely peeled, and he embodies what it means to look grainy. This guy looks like a fucking raw chicken maybe maybe not but anyway you guys get the point he sort of has that freaking grainy look and he is absolutely shredded dice to the socks out of the box absolutely dry to the bone from the front and from the back the only thing that is sort of lacking is muscle separation and perhaps striations he still has that, but not as good as the other guys on this list. Coming in just ahead of him in number three, this might be a surprise. A lot of you might have heard of this guy, but Morgan Asti. Look at those freaking glutes and look at that skin, grainy as hell. This guy is absolutely peeled. This is from the 2020 Arnold Classic, and it is also impressive that this guy is tall as hell. I don't remember quite how tall he is, but he towers over most other bodybuilders. And this guy, absolutely peeled, and he embodies probably more than Ian Vayer what it means to look freaking grainy. Absolutely shredded. Again, the only thing that he is probably lacking is muscle separation and striations. But... That is not lacking when it comes to the second guy on this list or number two on this list. None other than the newcomer Nick Walker. Now, again, this might also be controversial because Morgan Asti, he is more grainy and he is also more vascular than Nick Walker. Perhaps not on the legs, but on the upper body. But still, guys, I just think that Nick Walker has superior muscle separation. And also, you have to keep in mind that the lighting at the 2021 Arnold Classic is freaking half natural. Meanwhile, the lighting at the 2021 Mr. Olympia, where these pictures are from, was kind of okay. Sort of sucked, but whatever. This guy, absolutely peel. Separated, grainy, striations. He has it all. But... Who in the world would beat Nick Walker? Now, I don't think that this will come as a surprise, but overall, from the standards that I have set, in my opinion, the most conditioned active bodybuilder today in the IFBB open class is none other than the Persian Wolf, Hadi Chupin. Now, from the front, I think that you can't question it. 
he just looks insane. Striations, separation, graininess, vascularity, he has it all. From the back, some dudes might be a bit more shredded than him, but he still holds his own, in my opinion, as far as conditioning from the back goes. So, in my opinion, overall, from the standards that I have set, this guy is the most conditioned bodybuilder today in the freaking IFBB. So, that's it, guys. Let me know if you guys agree. And if not, remember to bring your pitchforks and start a riot. I will make sure to send you guys my address. If you guys are really, really mad, comment down below, request my address. I will send it. Bring your pitchforks, start a riot, do whatever it takes, guys. Or you could just leave a comment respectfully about who you disagree with being on this list and who you think should have replaced them. Anyways, enough with the foolishness. That's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you, lads and lasses, later.